Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. So today we'll see how to import existing AWS infrastructure into the Terraform S3 bucket. So in this video, we are going to cover how to import existing AWS infrastructure into the Terraform by using S3 bucket. What if we have infrastructure that we already created without using Terraform, but we want to manage with Terraform. In such cases, we can use the Terraform import command to import those resources into our Terraform state. So first we will see what is Terraform import command. So Terraform is an IAC tool that helps us manage our infrastructure by building, changing and versioning infrastructure. When we create an infrastructure with Terraform, we define our desired state in code. Then Terraform creates, modifies or deletes the resources as needed to match that desired state. The Terraform import command in Terraform is used to bring existing infrastructure which was not initially created by Terraform under Terraform management. This command allows you to associate and import existing resources into your Terraform state, enabling you to manage them using Terraform's control. Existing resource, Terraform creates a new state resource for that resource. Based on the current state of the resource in the provider, Terraform then updates the state resource to match the desired state divine in your configuration. For example, suppose you have an existing AWS S3 bucket with the name My Existing Bucket. You can import it into Terraform like this. You can see the code after that here. AWS S3 bucket, My Bucket is the Terraform resource type and name, and My Existing Bucket is the actual S3 bucket name. The Terraform import command is useful when you have pre-existing infrastructure that you want to transition to Terraform without creating it. It helps maintain and manage infrastructure as code, providing consistency and versioning benefits. So we will see what are the prerequisites required to do this. So first, you will need an Amazon Web Service account. If you don't have one, you can sign up for a free AWS account. Basic knowledge of AWS services and concepts are needed. Visual Studio on your system should be there and Harshik of Terraform can download it from the official Terraform website. So now let's start with importing an S3 bucket. So steps for implementation to this project are let's go to AWS console and search S3 service click on a create bucket. So we'll search S3 service and we'll click on Now we'll click on create bucket. So we'll provide a unique name minus Terraform S3 buck. Choose a region and leave the rest of defaults, then click on create bucket. Now we'll add the tags, add key value. We'll click on create bucket. You will see the green pop up with successfully created bucket Terraform S3 bar. Now head back to your local terminal, create a folder to work in CD into that folder, then open VS Code for further execution. So we came on VS Code. So now let's create the following organizational structure as shown below. We'll first create a folder, Terraform S3 Buck. Then we'll create four files in our Terraform. First, variable.tf, terraform.tf files, and main.tf. 
which are already created as you can see on my screen. Then we'll create a variables.tf file in Terraform S3 bug folder. So we'll enter the below code mentioned on the screen. We'll copy paste that code. So this is the code. Then we'll create a terraform.tf file in Terraform S3 bucket folder. So this is the code which I have already wrote on VS code. After that, we'll create a main.tf file in Terraform S3 bucket folder. Now we'll copy this code. We'll paste it in our main.tf. So now we'll go to our security credentials. From here, we'll create access key. Click on an Anderson and create access key. So our access key is created. Now copy the access key and paste it on your code. Then again, copy the secret access key mentioned and copy it, paste it. So we are done. So after this, we'll initialize and apply Terraform configuration. So we'll open a terminal in the directory containing your main.tf file and run the following commands. So we'll create new terminal. So now we'll use the command Terraform in it. So now we will run some commands to import the S3 bucket. The command is terraform import. AWS S3 bucket dot my bucket terraform S3 bucket. So basically this command tells Terraform to import the existing S3 bucket with the name Terraform S3 buck and create a new Terraform state resource for it named AWS S3 bucket dot my bucket. So our import is successful. So they have a note that uh, after running the import command, we need to create a resource block for it. So it actually requires some work beforehand. However, it is a way to bring the existing infrastructure into Terraform. To verify that the import was successful by running Terraform plan, Terraform should show that there are no changes to be made to the S3 bucket resource.
to uh, the command terraform plan. As you all can see, it is showing no changes. So our infrastructure matches the configuration. So great. So now we have imported our S3 bucket into our Terraform code. So do not forget to destroy S3 bucket with Terraform destroy command. Since we have imported it, you do not need to go to AWS console to manually delete it. So we'll run the command Terraform destroy. So we are done. So here we conclude, we have demonstrated how to import existing AWS infrastructure into the Terraform and destroy it later, not to incur challenge. So thank you so much everyone. See you all in the next video.